Hello everybody, my name is Matthew and this is another uh, video and this is dime is going to be different. Uh, this is going to be a instructional video on how to take off and uh, check the hard drive or to get access to this Asus um, X551C Windows 8 laptop. It is a little bit different from all the other laptops uh, are in the series, the X series, and the reason why is because most laptops you can um, take off all the screws, take out the battery, and it kind of just pops right off. You have to take off the keyboard first, and then you know, pop it right out, and then you take out the two screws, screws that hold the keyboard and uh, um, some of the other wiring together to the motherboard that's intact. This is completely different. The one reason is the keyboard is underneath a plastic shield right here. Um, so the keyboard is basically embedded into the plastic, so you can't take that out. Secondly, there is no battery to take out or replace. So you're forced to, which may come across more and more often, is on a laptop of this nature, you're going to get <coughs> a series of problems, which is what happens if the battery dies. You're going to have to take this off. Um, if you can see this, I already removed all of the screws and you'll oops. And you will need to keep this in order uh for one reason. Um the screws are either 2.5 or 3.5 millimeter screws. We have two 3.5s. These are one uh, 2.5s on the on the ends and then the the two, the two big ones are on the side and on the bottom. So just keep that in mind when you're taking this off. You know, keep it separate, keep it somewhere. Sorry for the ant, uh, the bad focus of this camera. I will be upgrading eventually one day. Okay, so the basic uh, tutorial on this guy would be get a small enough flathead screwdriver. Um, uh, you'll need a Phillips to take out the screws. You'll need this to pry into the center. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here so you can see what I've done. So, you'll take your screwdriver, you'll embed it in the top right here. There's a little, little hitch. You just push in, it'll make a sound, and now you can see it pulls off. You'll keep going down. There's one, two, three, four. Uh, kind of, and then I just brought my screwdriver across the edge of this bottom section, um, right here. And just go across, and then you get four four five six seven now on the very bottom um, you'll have to go towards whoop, you'll have to go towards here and kind of pry it up a little bit and then once you do that now I have the full the full section right here is pretty much off so I'm gonna go ahead and start on the bottom section of this guy right here. So you'll uh, just kind of try to pry it as much as you can with your fingernail. If you have a, uh, a uh, guitar pick you can place it underneath here as well. And you're going to do the same thing. Just keep on prying. Keep on prying. You, you hear that little snap? That's because I'm I'm loosening those little clips like I was telling you. So there you go. There's number number two. You're basically you're not being rough with this at all because you don't want those uh, very very plasticky snaps to break. So you're just gonna kind of feel and then push. So I'll have to demonstrate this again. You're going to feel feel across and then push. See that? Now it's getting closer and closer to coming off. Feel. Oops. So there's one right here and push. Okay, getting even closer now. I'll zoom out a little bit for you guys so you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. So you run across, run across, very, very gentle. Feel in. Okay, that one took a little harder to come across, but <clears throat> uh, okay. Don't miss me. Oh, there we go. And you may need to turn. There we go. Okay, so I got the entire front section off all the way over here. So now we're going to work on the side. 
don't want to undo your work that you just did, your nice hard work. So that's why guitar picks are good unless you're really good at this. Um, you can put your fingers in your thumb to kind of give you some prying action. And there we go. There's one on this side. Run across here. There's two on this side. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and keep going. So that's the entire CD DVD tray. So there's nothing in this entire section as you saw. So there's going to be one up here. I'm pretty sure about that. There we go. And there is number two. Now, the next trick here, which is the toughie, uh, is trying to get the. Okay, is trying to get the behind the LCD screen into the back. So, a good trick, you can either just go all the way back as far as you can go and then try to get your your um, your blade in there. Another trick is if you're good at this, you can do this. Close the lid partially. And if I had another third arm here, yeah, this, okay, so this one's not a good trick to do this one on. So you're going to have to stretch the lid as far as you can open without breaking anything, of course. Because this is a client's computer. Don't want to break anything. And you're just going to try to fish that very, very hard line. Um, but this one's just going to be difficult. So, uh, so you're just filling across, filling across, filling across, just like the entire other way I've been doing it. So that way is not to confuse you. You're just prying across, prying across until you feel it. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Nothing there, nothing there. There we go, I got it. <clears throat> okay. So never just yank it off because there could be cables attached to this thing, which there is right there. You can kind of, there you go, you can see it now, right? I don't want to just whack and then just pull it right off. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your screw your same Phillips, your flathead screwdriver. You're going to lift this guy up ever so gently. There's going to be a white tab right there. You can kind of see it. Yeah, you got it. So right there, you're going to lift up towards you. You can use your finger if you want, like so. And then all you're going to do, I'll let the auto adjust focus here. There you go. And all you're going to do is pull it right out. Same thing with this white clip here. Make sure you don't have any static. Pull up and then pull up, and there it came right off. And now there's one more on the corner here. Let's see if you can see this bad boy over here. There you go. So same thing. This is a better example. So this one's not a white top, this is a gray top. So you're just gonna take your lift up, you can kind of see it lifted up, raise right there, and then pull, and now it's disengaged. Okay. So this is the inside guts of your laptop. If you can see that there. Very good. We have your CPU or GPU fan. This looks like a CPU fan. Uh, to dissipate your heat and pushes it underneath and out. Um, we have our DVD drive, and here's what we need to get access to is your this internal uh, hard drive. Your battery pack is a lithium ion pack right up here. It's a 14.4 volt uh, uh, battery pack. It looks like you will need a special order of this. If you need to, here is the part number if you want to replace this A41N 1308. Um, just look it up on eBay, get your order of your replacement, put it in. Um, it looks like there's no real huge trick to this. It just has a bunch of clips in here. And um, so again, same thing. Pry, 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 lift up and out. Replace. You will, you will need to take this guy off as this is the battery pack connector. And, and also the monitor, it looks like. So, actually it's not. That's, that's the monitor one. It usually is. It looked like it was connected, but it's not. So this one just looks right out. So, very good. I'm going to go ahead and undo the hard drive. And if I, let's see if I have an extra hard drive one, I do. So this one's relatively simple. There's only four screws holding the hard drive in place. It's a little case, an outer case. Sorry, let's see if you can see that. Kind of got in your way there. And I never use um, anything more than just my hand to take out screws. Uh, I know a lot of people will try to... Um, 
make their lives easier and use an electronic one, but you have a chance of stripping your screw heads. And you don't want to do that. So there's there's only three actions. So there's two connected to the motherboard, and then one connected to really nothing over here in this corner, which is not a big deal. Okay, so now that I have it, I'll kind of give this a better angle for you. I'm going to use my left hand, so we're going to pull it and then pull out like I just did. And now here is your hard drive. Very cool, right? Uh, it is a if anybody wants to replace it, it's a 500 gig, 5400 RPM. You can get a serious upgrade on this thing if you got like an SSD like so and put that in here psh, this thing would be like a major upgrade for it it is uh... it reads at 6.0 gigabytes per second but really its throttle is the 5400 rpm so that's just silly <laughs> uh, yeah it's probably a slow hard drive and that's probably why it took a crap anyways or it had some issues and SSDs these days are not very expensive Alright, so basically that is the tutorial. I'm going to be ref uh, fixing this hard drive, pulling off any data I can, and then putting it back together for the client, hopefully in, within 24 hours. This will be also sent as a private video to the client. Uh, you're more than welcome to take a look at this at my work. And uh, please recommend me to your friends, family, or anything. Again, this is with uh, Vitech Visual Innovative Technologies. Our phone number is 520-858-0026. And uh, as always, thank you for viewing. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, or leave your comment if you have more than one feeling. Have a good day.